Do you believe that we all have a specific purpose that we decided on before we incarnated? I believe that if you're looking for your purpose, it is because there is one to find. Hello everybody, my name is Janneke Eines and I'm the founder of Wisdom from North, the Nordic platform for accelerated inner growth and empowerment. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love for you to subscribe so you get new notifications of my video blogs and interviews with amazing spiritual teachers. Now let's jump into the topic for today. So as you can see, I'm out in nature again. I love to be in nature and I love living close to nature because that really raises my vibration every day when I spend some time in nature. But today I want to speak about your soul's purpose and I find that as the most important topics there is. I'm very passionate about speaking about it uh, and I'm going actually to have a free event called Awaken to Your Soul's Purpose that I'd love for you to be part of. It's totally free. We're going to dive into our purpose and connect deeper with our soul to really create that momentum together because your soul's purpose is actually why you're here. Because I believe, this is my belief, that we all have a certain purpose. And before we incarnated on this planet, we actually decided with our guides and our angel guides and our, um, our team and masters on the other side on what our purpose was going to be. And our purpose can be, you know, to be a mother, to raise children. Uh, it doesn't have to, uh, have something to do with a job or what you're meant to work with. Uh, however, it's often the case that it has to do with something you're supposed to create or manifest or bring forth into this world and it has to do with your unique abilities. Because I believe we all have unique abilities and gifts that we're meant to share with the world. And we planned on this, like we, this is so intelligently created before we incarnated. Like I believe we actually incarnated on a specific, specific uh, time where our astrological chart was a certain way. So we had the influence we needed that would support our mission and our purpose in life. And one of the things I'm going to speak about in the event is that for some of us who decided that we were going to be part of this great awakening, um, we have actually two missions in a way uh, when it comes to our purpose. One of the missions is to expand and to be all that we can be and to um, step into our highest potentials, share our gifts with the world and live our truth as a soul that we're called to do that. But the other mission is actually to be of a greater service, helping the awakening process, helping other people wake up, being a lighthouse for others, being an example for others, uh, helping to support others who are struggling and showing what's possible. And then first, what we need to do is transform our own lives before we can help other people transform as well so that they see it's possible. And this is exactly what happened to me. Like I was in a deep, deep depression when I was in my 20s. I thought my mission, because I always thought I had a mission, like ever since I was seven years old, or I think even younger, I was really sure that I had a mission in life. Like I always believed that, I just knew. But I thought my mission was to be a musical theater artist. And I said to everybody that that's what I'm going to be when I become an adult. And everybody around me was saying, yes, we believe you because I got so much attention. I got so much applause. I was that Annie who got the premiere. I was a little cassette in Limbs Rubble. I got the premiere night uh, ahead of the other girls. And I got so much attention. It was almost too much. And that's something I've been dealing with as an adult, actually. <laughs> going to a lot of therapy about that. <laughs> so I totally believed that my purpose in life was to become a big musical theater artist, but it had to do a lot with my ego, right? I wanted to become something big, something grand. So the intention for that mission was very ego oriented instead of soul um, inspired. Then in my twenties, I was just 
being done with playing Rizzo in Greece, having a huge success. And I landed the role of Audrey in Little Shop of Horrors, like the main character on a big musical stage in Oslo in Norway. And then I lost my voice. And then everything fell apart. It was a really horrible time. I was 21 years old. I had a boyfriend and everything fell apart. Uh, he left me after a while. I couldn't speak. I couldn't talk. I had nodules. Uh, I had to give my role away. And all of a sudden, there was just silence in my life. Like, I was literally silent. And I just needed to withdraw. And the darkness, the emptiness I found inside was a shock to me. All of a sudden, I felt I was worthless. I was nothing because I had built my life upon this dream that I was going to be a big musical theater artist. Like ever, ever since I was seven years old, like imagine that identity that I had, you know, put on myself. And all of a sudden that dream was shattered. That started my awakening process. Like my awakening process was long and hard because 20 years ago, like this is 20 years ago, we didn't have YouTube, we didn't have social media, we didn't have the support and the knowledge and the wisdom so accessible to us. So I went all alone through this process, but I discovered that I needed to love myself. I discovered that I needed to find my worth without needing to prove it for the world. And I've, I've spoken about this story many times, but in 2012, when I have cultivated um, a fair amount of self-love, when I got the idea to start to interview people on YouTube, I followed that hunch and I started to uh, make more and more interviews and my YouTube channel grew. and. Through Wisdom from North, I have found my real purpose. I understood that actually from I was very little, I had been very, very curious about the big questions of life. I had just never given attention to it or focus to it because I thought that if I was to work with something spiritual, I needed to have some abilities. I needed to be a clairvoyant or be able to see beyond the veil and I wasn't able to do that. So I thought, you know, I can't work with that. But the thing is with your purpose, your heart knows the path, your brain does not. And that's why when we have a hunch about something, we often stop ourselves because we don't know the hows. But I'm here to tell you, you don't need to know the how. And that sounds a bit crazy, right? You don't need to know the how. You just need to take that very first step. And that's what I did. I followed my heart. I followed my joy. I did interviews after interviews and I didn't earn any money. So people were saying, how can you continue with this? You're not earning money. Like, why are you doing this? And I said to them, it feels right. It's joyful. And how can something that feels this joyful be wrong. So I trusted. Today I'm owning my own company. Today I'm having a membership that's transforming people's lives. Today I'm creating online courses. I work with amazing teachers. It has just grown and grown and grown. And my purpose, what I love to do, is to help people who want to find their purpose. People perhaps like you who are searching for their deeper purpose in life, who wants to live from joy, follow their heart, who feel that they're meant to do more in life, that there's something else they're supposed to do, that their soul is calling for them, but they're not quite sure what the soul is calling for them to do. Maybe that's you. Now, we are living in unprecedented times. The big shift is happening right now. Now, a lot of people are in fear right now. A lot of people are worried and no wonder. Things are shifting all over the place. Things are coming up to the surface and not just on a collective level. I see actually so many people struggling, like people are breaking up 
with each other. I've seen so many people die this year, people I know, like not just from the pandemic, like so many things are happening and people are scared. Also, a lot of people are questioning, am I in the right place in my life? Like, am I living the life I, I feel that I'm destined to live? Do I have more gifts? Do I have more potential? Is this, you know, all there is? I want more in my life. I feel like my soul is calling for me to open up to something. That's the big call. And I would like to inspire you to really listen to that call because the world needs you right now. This is why you came down to this planet. You're not supposed to be a copy. You're not supposed to follow everybody else's rules. You're supposed to follow your own inner guidance. Like why did God or the universe create us into so many different parts that looks different? We all look different, right? We're meant to be different. We're meant to share our uniqueness with the world. But that's not what we've been taught, <laughs> especially like 150 years ago, where we were, everybody was just working to survive. But what if we're meant to thrive, not just survive? But in order to thrive, you have to go within and start that journey and start asking some questions. Why am I doing the job I'm doing? Am I in the right place? Am I in the right relationship? Perhaps I'm supposed to do more. Perhaps there's more to me. Perhaps I have some gifts to share. I would love, love, love to help you with this and get that process going. We're going to be many people doing this process together. It's going to be a magical event. I've done this before two times and it's really amazing to see the breakthroughs that people have. It's amazing to see the transformation that people can have in just one week. So I want to invite you to the event Awaken to Your Soul's Purpose. You're going to meet some of my favorite masterclass teachers in my membership that are going to show up and show you and teach you how they have found their purpose and how you can do the same. We're going to have a Facebook group where we're going to uh, support each other and have accountability and you're going to get some workbooks so you're going to really get the chance to dive deep into your soul, get that process started. And I really, really hope that you want to join me. This is my purpose. This is my joy. This is my passion. And I want you to live your joy and your passion as well. There was one thing, one more thing I wanted to mention. And this cat has been following me. It's just so cute. Uh, she was so cuddly. Yeah, she's coming back. One more thing. Oh, somebody asked me where I was living. Here's where I'm living. I'm walking towards my apartment right now and it's 10 minutes outside Oslo and it's a really beautiful place with a lot of nature and the forest and everything. So finding our purpose and stepping into our true purpose in life, it's not easy peasy. Like our soul is calling for greatness within, like really our highest potential. And also the universe knows exactly what is needed on the planet right now. So you are born with certain skills and abilities and gifts that you're meant to be sharing because that's what source and the universe knows that the world needs. So you holding back on that is a disfavor, like it's not doing any good for the awakening process that you're holding back. So you need to shine your light. You're meant to shine your light. You're meant to take up space. You're really meant to be following those hints, those hunches, those urges, there is not a coincidence. What you feel inside is really real. So whatever you can do, take that, you know, first step, either if it's through my event or if it's something else that you just feel you want to do, that you know is right for you, take those first steps and start to live in alignment with the truth of who you are and shine your light. Because the world needs what you got. Hi, 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 hi. Hi. <laughs> what do you want to say to me? Hey, you're really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>